Welcome everybody to predictions, WWE, Money in the Bank predictions with Corvallis and Kelly. Hello. I love that the both of them just said hi at the same fucking time. Yay. All right. So, uh, we are going to be predicting what could be the worst pay-per-view of the year. The thing that keeps Vince McMahon in the retirement home. Maybe. It's money in the bank. Or if, you know, the match that I want to happen happens, it's going to be money in the bank. Hint, hint, Seth Rollins dudes. It is also the only pay-per-view in the year that features the money in the bank match. And which, you know what? You know how there's a money in the bank match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship? Yes. There needs to be like a Divas Money in the Bank match or something. Yeah, like I would prefer to see Miss Money in the Bank instead of a Divas title ladder match. Hmm. Because a, a ladder match can happen at any pay-per-view. Like, don't get me wrong, like it can happen at TLC, it can happen at SummerSlam, it could even happen at WrestleMania. But I think a Miss Money in the Bank ladder match would be better. Like, they could have a pink case. The diva logo on it. Exactly. I mean, it's fitting. But then, but then again, WWE wouldn't do that because divas are not like TNA knockouts. They're afraid of getting hurt. They are afraid of selling. Exactly. But then again, there are divas there that I think would be able to pull that sort of match off. Like, uh, people would may hate me for saying this, but Summer Rae would actually be willing to do this because she knows how to catch attention. And her and Paige have had some pretty good matches on NXT. So, who knows? Yeah. So like, I, I could see the I could see the NXT Divas doing something like this, because I think the match that... They did actually break an LED board on the NXT ring during a Fatal 4-Way. Yeah. Like, Charlotte got thrown into the LED board and broke it. Right. So... You know, like, these divas in NXT aren't, like, the main roster divas. They are actually willing to put in the time and the effort and go the extra mile to achieve the ultimate outcome of the match. Right. So, you know, an NXT women's title match at the pay-per-view might be better than the actual main divas doing a match. Maybe. Yeah. I can, I can honestly see that happening, but, yeah, because WWE logic probably won't ever happen. But who knows? They might take our our idea into consideration. You know what? I think I may tweet the link to this video to Stephanie McMahon and be like, Yeah, bitch. We're calling you out. Alright. Well, anyways, uh, let's get started to the real match card. Let's begin with R-Truth versus King Bear at the pre-show match. Uh, I think R-Truth may win this. Um, I'm gonna have to go for King Bear. King Sexy. Well, I, I would like for R Truth to win, but WWE Logic says King Barrett because they're trying to put King Barrett over everybody because he won the King of the Ring. I mean, come on. King of the Ring. King of the Ring is Korea's suicide for two years. Exactly. Well, it, it is now because it's basically bullshit. After 2008, King of the Ring kind of became like, who wants to commit Korea suicide for two years? Exactly. No offense to anyone who won it, like Seamus or King Barrett or and whatever. It happens, but doesn't it like only happen every four to the some years? I think the last time it happened was 2010. They done one in 2008 when William Regal won it. Because he had Layla at his side. Over Jamie Noble. That was how long ago it was. Well, no, I remember uh, Seamus winning in like 2012 or some shit like that. I think it may be every two years. Maybe. Who fucking knows? I don't really maybe, care to be honest. I don't really pay years. attention. It depends. It really does depend. It depends what the creative team thinks. Mm -hmm. How long it ago was, on... my, was The Last King, The Ring? And how are we going to screw some people? It depends on how much life support Vince McMahon needs right now. Well, yeah. Plus, then again, the last 
several people who ha whom had King of the Ring, for example, Sheamus, he's not doing so well in WWE, and he recently returned. Yeah, and he rubbed his ass on Dolph Ziggler's face. Yes. And then before that, he was face, and then uh, he was doing some other shit. So really, we don't really know. And he's, st and he's still looking like... He's still looking like mayonnaise. Yeah. I, I can't see... The, the human joy of mayonnaise. The human joy of mayonnaise with ketchup for hair. Well, like I said, I can't see Wade Barrett turning face anytime soon. Or he's at the all, human, to be honest. He's the human version of Casper Cole. So let's not kid anyone. Well, yeah. He, I mean, the only time he was actually good, good, was when he had that Nexus thing against John Cena. Uh, I suppose. That was the only best time for Wade Barrett. Wade Barrett is actually a really good wrestler, though. Like, I do find some of the stuff he does entertaining. And then that thing with the, um, the Bad News Barrett thing, I kind of thought that was pretty entertaining. And then, the, I think it was the Nexus, and then the Cole, and then he just went solo. Yeah. It's just Wade Barrett just being Wade but, You know, Barrett. really, I don't really care which way this match goes, because I like both him and R-Truth. But, you know, this. We got to More like, side track. <laughs> it's so, like it's like fifty fifty. I don't really know who's gonna win. I hope it's our truth because our truth had a really big pop with me. Like up? people are actually getting behind him. No court. Again. No. So So well yeah. Alright, so I kinda hope our truth does win, but WWE logic says King Barrett. So next match. Ryback versus Big Show, the Intercontinental Championship match. Mm-hmm. Does anyone want to go first this time, or should I? Well, they've been building up Ryback. And that thing with Big Show and, and um, the, well, the, there's a supposedly Intercontinental Championship match on Raw, and Miz was going to come out, and then Big Show comes out, and then knocks out Miz, and is like, oh, I'm going to be big, badass Big Show. I'm going to be the <laughs> one to beat Ryback, because I'm the fucking Big Show, and I deserve a championship. Um, I don't think this match will end in a pinfall or a submission. I don't think so either. Because... I could see I think Miz the, turning babyface in this pay-per-view. Because the Miz and Ryback were facing off for the Intercontinental title, and Big Show actually came out and assaulted the Miz, yeah. and, cost, and caused the DQ. So I can see the Miz coming out and costing the Big Show the match, and then possibly him this right back at SummerSlam or Vince McMahon's favorite matchup, a triple threat at SummerSlam between those three. Right. Dear God, please no fucking triple threat. Anyways, I kind of see Miz turning babyface, like I said, at this pay-per-view, uh, disqualifying Big Show or some shit like I that. I don't think he'd turn babyface. He's too much of a douchebag right now for that to happen. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you never really know. So, um... Ryback versus Big Show. I I think Ryback will win. Overall. I either think that, this can end in... Either that, even I, if it is a disqualification, I, Ryback I think will it's, still yeah, win. Yeah, DQ. Turn in DQ. I think it's going to end in DQ as well. So either Ryback wins via pinfall, or it's it's a freaking DQ and Ryback is still Intercontinental Championship. Or Intercontinental yes. Champion, excuse me. Well, can we just say IC Champion? No. Nikki Bella versus Paige for the Divas Championship. Ugh, meh. Can we just take a piss break already? Yes. Yay. Skipping this match, Kevin Owens versus John Cena. No, no, let's just, let's just quickly go over the Divas match. Honestly, I think Paige is going to win. Yeah, fuck yeah. And my, re and my reasoning for this is because the Bell Twins recently sat down with Mark Carano, and they were talking about futures after WWE and potentially leaving, and they've announced that two more Divas will be leaving the cast of Total Divas, which I personally hope it is the Bell Twins, so they can finally stop tip riding their husbands and partners and boyfriends and whatever the fuck and they can just get out because neither of them can wrestle on the level of anyone in NXT. They've 
Moving on, guys. They've completely, number one, ruined the Divas division. And number two, ruined the Divas championship. The thing with the Bell Twins that I really dislike is the fact that near, well, they can wrestle, but they're not at the standard of a real wrestling woman. Like, you look at Divas like Trish Stratus, Lita, Hell, AJ Lee even. I absolutely hated AJ Lee. But she could wrestle, and she made the match entertaining. Exactly. AJ, AJ Lee and Paige against Nikki Bella versus Paige. AJ Lee and Paige would always get that matchup because they can actually go back and forth and make a good match. Meanwhile, like, Nikki Bella is just doing push-ups in the ring like she's a fucking badass. And that thing with twin, and that thing with twin magic, like two weeks ago on Raw. How, on a scale of 1 to 10, how blind was the referee to not notice the difference in the attire and the different colored hair? Exactly. How does how does anybody not recognize? Or okay, re this is... I'm probably going to get into trouble for promoting this. But me and Talia were sitting down on Roblox actually watching this match. And I'm like, yeah, they switched. Like, the attire is a different look. And then it showed them side by side at the end. And it's like... Jesus Christ, we could tell the difference, and I was sat halfway across my living room, away from the TV, and I could tell them apart. It's like, what in the hell? I fucking hit a fly with a fucking... Okay, enough of the fly abuse. I honestly hope Paige wins this match, because I am personally sick of the Bella Twins. And it's not me being like better or anything, I just really do think that Nikki Bella's time is up. Yeah. Like, if Brie won the championship and she was face, I wouldn't really be saying as much because I honestly do think that Brie is the better wrestler when it comes to those two. Yes. And she didn't exactly tip right her husband to get ahead, like she actually did. She had a storyline and she actually did, like, she, she wasn't egotistical with it because she had that match with Stephanie McMahon and she actually put Steph over. Even though Brie lost. Yeah, but she did put Steph over. Yeah. Which, to be honest, is good because she kind of, she had that match where... It wasn't really about winning or losing at the end of the day. You know, you're there and you're actually building up on a storyline that's going to continue. Yeah. Honestly... Because, the, because there was no way they were going to end that storyline after, like, what, two months? Right. Well, like, I'm they're still be... trying to, like... Oh, okay. No, go ahead. I can see... Nikki losing, but they, the Bells attempt to win magic, and then... Stephanie blames Brie for Nikki's loss. And then the Bellas turn on each other again, but Brie comes out on top, and I can see her winning the Divas title for a second time. Maybe. Maybe. But overall, I kind of want Paige to win now because she actually has a better reason for holding the title. Like, she seems to be the better choice right now because I think... Either, I personally did think that Naomi should have won beforehand, so it could have been Paige versus Naomi instead. Right. Because I really wouldn't want to see that again, because at Money in the Bank last year, it was Paige versus Naomi. Right. And, you know, it would have been like a fun little, you know, like year later thing. Right. But yeah, overall, I kind of want Paige to win. Well, I'm wanting flies, I just want to make a, a little point. If it was Brie champion versus Paige, who do you think would win that? I think maybe Brie. Why? Yeah, I person. If it was Paige versus Brie, I, I, it would be close. Yeah. And I mean, it would be like bone crunchingly close. Like you said, Brie performs better than Nikki. And, well, if if the only time Brie talked was when she was getting interviewed backstage by What's-Her-Face, then that would be fine. Renee, yeah. As yeah, as long as she 
was not going out in, in the ring every fucking day and blabbing her fucking mouth, then I would be absolutely fine. The thing is with Brie as well, though, like, I don't know if you two watch the Divas, like, I'll watch it now and again. She did the UK tour and actually faced off with, I think, AJ Lee. Right. She, and she was really, really hangover after drinking. And, like, she put on a really good performance, considering it was, like, the recordings of Raw and SmackDown. That's only doing her credit, because she can work even when she's sick, even when she's hungover. Whereas Nikki botches when she's fully awake and fully, like, tuned up. So, who would you rather have, I'd rather have as Brie. a champion? I'd rather have Brie. Oh, you know, Kelly Kelly could come back. Even though she quit. Or got fired. Either way. Well, I really... I, I'm i going off topic here, but I want Kelly Kelly, Maurice, and Beth Phoenix to return just so the Divas can get back up. <laughs> because, love her or hate her, Kelly nice. Kelly actually had back in other fans. Leave me alone, Flights! Go away! I don't like you! And, and that is something we can all agree on because Kelly Kelly was cheered like the female John Cena. Well, let's move on before we get carried away once again. Um, hold on. Yes, fucking got it, piece of shit. Can you can you be careful so you don't break any equipment, please? I'm not, I'm not breaking anything. But my fucking laptop is vibrating now. But uh, anyways, moving on. John Cena versus Kevin Owens for no championship. For the title of Superman of WWE. Kevin Owens! I think John Cena's gonna win. I do think John Cena's gonna win. Well... Mainly, mainly because Kevin Owens can lose the NXT title during the time between Money in the Bank and SummerSlam, and then he can come up and face John Cena for the US title. I can see it happening, guys. Yeah. I, 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 I'm actually agreeing with Kelly for this one. I because can, on I can N see that because I don't know if either of you two watch NXT, but Finn Balor may be facing Kevin Owens in the future for the NXT title. Well, if that does happen, and if Kevin Owens does lose, then there will be a possibility that at SummerSlam, Kevin Owens will beat John Cena for the United States Championship. Which I personally hope does happen, but for now I think John Cena will win. But saying that though, Kevin Owens could win too, because then he can be like, I've beaten you twice at pay-per-views. Either way, I don't really care which way this one goes, because I know that they're going to face off again at SummerSlam, so... Yeah, you know, we know really for a fact that this storyline will last until SummerSlam. And I'm going to be completely honest, they should have waited. They should have waited for this. Cause they could, this they could have done this. They could have done this at WrestleMania. Well, fucking fly. Yeah, I said no, but um, th there's a reason why they should have waited until SummerSlam. They should have just got rid of Kevin Owens in NXT and then okay, bring him is... to the WWE. Be, be that badass or whatever heel. And then do whatever he wants to do with John Cena. Basically, I the agree. same storyline. Because I kind of like this storyline. I this this is very rare for me to say, but I kind of like this storyline. John Cena, and Kevin Owens. What I would have liked to have seen is Kevin Owens lose to Finn Balor in NXT, so then he could have came up to the main roster. And then at SummerSlam, John Cena's like, I don't have an opponent for tonight. And then Kevin Owens' theme hits, the Trons go. Da -da 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 okay, 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 Cove, okay. And then he just comes down and be like, well, you know, this is my pay-per-view debut. I think I should have a title match. And then all that happens, and then Kevin Owens wins. And then they could have, like, you know, they could have done, like, Night of Champions and all that crap, so... Yeah, well, I don't really care which way this goes now. Either way, John Cena, Kevin Owens will happen at SummerSlam and Money in the Bank. And whatever pay-per-view will be after SummerSlam. 
and Not whatever confusion is in between Money Bank and Super Slam. Because I think no, there's I don't like think one more pay per view before SummerSlam. No, there's not a pay per view between SummerSlam and oh July. wait wait I think I yes, think there then is Battle Battleground Battleground yeah yeah Battleground or Battle Royal. No, <laughs> Fucking pay per view called Battle Royal. But moving okay, this on. is this is kind of stupid. Like, wouldn't they have been better putting Battleground in June than Money in Bank and Money in the Bank in July? It makes sense, but who the fuck cares at this point? Moving on, the New Day versus the Prime Time Players for the WWE Tag Team Championship. I think you mean it's the New Day since Damian. Well, no, it isn't Damian. It's Darren Young. Yeah, since Darren Young came back, it's the New Day. Ah, cause, gotcha. cause he, Fucking cause his hair, cause New his hair is just fabulous. Oh, yes. New day sucks. And of course, New you know, have day sucks. Yeah, he, he's just listening. I don't care. Anyways, um, New Day versus Primetime Players, who do you think is going to win? And why? I don't care because the tag team championships are irrelevant. Of course they are. I mean, the New Day has to be by far the worst tag team. WWE Creative has ever made. They're not, the new, they're, they're not the new day anymore. They're kind of like the purple day, the green day, whatever color their attires are at the time. Oh! You know what I forgot to do? Should John Cena... We're, 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 we're sticking with John Cena versus Kevin Owens real quick. Just for this. Oh, God. Should John Cena change his colors? No, because then WWE would have to brand more action figures. I'm predicting he's changing his fucking shirt before SummerSlam, sometime before then. God. But anyways, um, what was I getting ready to say? Oh, right, New Day versus Primetime Players. I don't care, really. I, I'm hoping primetime players will win, but because WWE logic and make your moves, make your moves, make your million dollar moves, make your moves, make your moves. Make because of that stupid fucking ugly ass piece of shit, forgot his name. That's not a very nice way to talk about golf. Not not Kofi, not Big E, that other dude. Forgot his name. <laughs> Is this Xavier Woods? Yes. Okay, this dude cannot wrestle. He cannot speak, he cannot wrestle, he cannot do anything. He kind of reminds me of why slavery was implemented, with the way he speaks. He reminds me of Heath Slater. That is how bad this is. He's the black Heath Slater. Exactly. Speaking of Heath Slater... <laughs> It's still Mr. Okay. Fucking Fly, piece okay, of shit. Okay, Kofu, who do you think is going to win? I'm going to go for the prime time players. I kind of hope that, you know, yeah, like you. I said, I kind of hope prime time players win as well. I really hope they do win because New Day sucks. And we need a championship change immediately if you want people to be interested in the tag team championship division. Or in okay, the tag team you... division in general. Because we all sure, thought you... that... Ascension was going to save it. Nope. And now we have... New Day trying to save it. They turn heel. And they go completely all stupid. Now we have Primetime Players returning. And let's hope that they save it. Which they probably won't. Fucking fly. But yeah. Primetime Players. Tag Team Championships. New Tag Team Champions. Fucking fly. <sighs> Alright. Kane. Versus Neville. Versus Kofi Kingston. Versus Randy Orton. Versus Sheamus. Versus Dolph Ziggler. Versus Roman Reigns. For the Money in the Bank ladder match. Well, like, I think it's kind of predictable that Roman Reigns is going to win. But who knows? Yeah, Maybe Dolph's... Yeah, it is pretty predictable Roman's going to win. Well, but yeah. who knows? Who knows? Maybe Dolph Ziggler will win money in the skunk. Number one, why the fuck is Kane part of this match? Because he's nuts. He's... 
I don't even know. Like, last time Kane was in a ladder match, didn't he get busted open? No, last time Kane was in a ladder match, it was last year's Money in the Bank ladder match. Really? And he helped fucking piece of Randy shit. Orton. No, piece of shit, um... Seth Rollins? Seth Rollins. That's the one. Yeah, basically. Anyway. Honestly, I don't. I th honestly am pulling for Roman Reigns to win this because, pff, damn arms though. Whew, damn. Right, I you actually... guys, you 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 guys can carry on for a minute. I just need to find myself and cool down. I actually would like to see Dolph Ziggler win this Money in the Bank match. No, I really no, 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 no. I think it's either almost ready. Or not just ready, but it's getting there for Dolph Ziggler to maybe become the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Or become the World Heavyweight Champion. I think that he won't. I don't think he'd win the World Heavyweight Championship this year, maybe next year. Maybe next year. We yeah, maybe. See. Hopefully at WrestleMania 32 if they don't go with the Shield Triple Threat. Because at the moment, I think that Dolph Ziggler is having a big enough push with Lana and Rusev. Have they got a little food they got going on? Yeah. I'm getting but a bad think, feeling that that's going to last until Royal Rumble. Hear me out, hear me out. I think that Rusev will, like, I think Lana will be, like, near commentary for this, and Rusev will come out and, like, not attack her, but, like, intimidate her a bit, so Dolph Ziggler will, like, you know, exit the ring. And then Rusev will knock him out with the crutch or... No, because or Rusev just... is still injured, remember? Yeah, but he came out on roll last Monday and pushed Lana off the ramp. Really? Yeah, he did. Damn. Soulless. Savage. I know. Anyways, um... In Soviet Russia, bitches get pushed off ramps. Anyways, if Dolph Ziggler <laughs> does not win this Money in the Bank ladder match, then I expect Dolph Ziggler to win next year's Royal Rumble. I do too. I can see that happening. Because it's it's almost time, and if it's not if it's not the money in the bank, it's going to be the Royal Rumble. So yeah. Um, other than that, like I said earlier, why the fuck is Kane part of this match? I don't know. I think it's just. I I I, I, I remember. I remember. I remember. Match. It's because of Roman Reigns. He doesn't want Roman Reigns to win. I, mean, I personally, I so, think the storyline for this matchup was really crappy because if Kane is allowed to add himself to matches, why didn't he add himself to a title match? I know, right? Nope. Why? Oh, hold on, there's a fly on my computer screen. I'm gonna get it. No, fucking hit it, but it didn't die. Piece of shit. All right. Anyways. Okay. Well, the thing is, if I had that kind of power that Kane had, I would automatically put myself into a title match if I was allowed to. Right. But why would you put yourself into one of the most dangerous matches in your career just to prevent one person from winning when there are six other people in there that are going to try and do that anyway? Well, speaking of people who probably shouldn't even be near this match in the first place, why the hell is Neville part of this match? This is way too early in his career to even be thinking about the Money in the Bank ladder match. I think that our truth should have taken King Barrett's place, and that Neville should have faced Barrett to continue their little stint that they had going on. I didn't really care for that, but yeah, I, I kind of do agree. Because our truth you know, like, he has performed in these matches before, and he has put up a good fight and was entertaining while he was doing that. Right. But, honestly, I don't think that Neville should be in this sort of match because he just came up from NXT. Yeah, he's fairly They're, new. He's still fairly new to the WWE environment. Even if you are from NXT and you think, yo, I, I know it all. You don't know it all until you've been through the but even chamber. But even saying that, he has performed in ladder matches before, so I do think that that helped him in this situation. Because he won that NXT title match, well, title ladder match, with Bo Dallas. So, you know, honestly, I don't particularly care. I honestly want Roman Reigns to win this match. I don't think 
I do think Dolph Ziggler will be World Heavyweight Champion, just not, not yet. Yeah. Well, yeah, like it's, I said, it's... if Dolph Ziggler doesn't win this match, then Roman Reigns will. And um, after all that... Plot twist, I want Lana to win. If Roman Reigns does win... We won Lana. If Roman Reigns does we win, when do you oh, guys okay, think Roman will cash in? I think he'll cash in at Money in the Bank. Damn. But I think like he'll be sneaky with it, like like Dean Ambrose will be like a few seconds away from covering and then he'll come out, he'll attack Dean Ambrose and then he'll cash in and pin Seth Rollins. And then Roman Reigns turns heel. No, I don't see Roman Reigns turning heel anytime soon because he's still a baby face. He's sexy. I just can't see it happening. You know what I can't see? There's too many people who likes Roman Reigns. Then again, it's it's like, let's go see in a scene of sucks. It's kind of in between. I personally, well, saying that, speaking of, can we just move on to the next match already? No, let's continue talking about this because we got like 30 more minutes. Okay, well, I think that Roman Reigns should win this match because <laughs> he deserves it. He put on a good match with Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania and he got screwed something fierce. Yes. He got screwed big time. Okay, cool. What do you think? He got screwed. Wait, what? Oh, I don't know. Alright, anyways. Okay. Final, hopefully, match at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Seth Rollins versus Dean Ambrose for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship in a ladder match. First off, Dean Ambrose did fairly win this match. Everything else that you hear from WWE or from anybody else is a lie. Dean Ambrose is the rightful WWE World Heavyweight Champion in the story. I agree with that because he did pin Seth Rollins. Legal. And he didn't... He technically did pin Seth Rollins and he didn't have the disqualification. No, screw the because disqualification. That didn't count. I'm not ca I'm not it, counting that. If it was me, I would have not counted that. I still would have <laughs> But e been either way, the, here's that, your champion. That, that official got knocked out, so they couldn't call for the disqualification anyway. Another referee made that decision. Well, yeah. So, he, he really, he disqualified Seth Rollins as in Officially, Dean Ambrose should be the champion, and he technically is, because he did pin Seth Rollins. Technically. And he was announced as the new World Heavyweight Champion. So, end of story. Now, Dean Ambrose gets his first, very first title defense against Seth Rollins. Title match with Seth Rollins one-on-one. -on -one. Because honestly, I think they should have done like the John Cena, Sam Punk thing where they both have a title. Oh my god. Because Dean Ambrose stole it, so I would have done like Seth Rollins complaining to Triple H like, I want my title, and then just to shut him up. No. Triple H, Triple H gave him like a toy title and said, you know, if you I, act I, like I, a kid, I, you'll, if I you act like a kid, you'll get happen. treated like a kid. I could see that. I could see that shit happening, to be honest. Or if Kane did it, like if Triple H said Kane, you know, get him another title belt, and he handed him a WWE toy title and said, you get treated like a kid, if you act like a kid, and then Seth Rollins actually does carry it out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so anyways, um, Seth Rollins versus Dean Ambrose, who's going to win? I can see J&J Security getting involved and actually helping Dean Ambrose. But they're not allowed to come out. That's not true. Yes, it is true. No, Triple they're H not banned from being sad. Are you sure? Yes. Triple H had said that nobody they're not will help him out. Because no one will. Because they don't want to. So they're not... They're not banned it's from basic, each side. It's, it's everyone basically in the authority hates Seth Rollins right now. Officially. Thank God. Anyways. So. Ooh, I can see oh, Jane. Yeah. I can either see Jane Jay Security coming down or maybe Triple H will turn on Seth Rollins and take Dean Ambrose. 
So Seth Rollins stays heel, Dean Ambrose stays face, Triple H turns face. The authority turns face. The authority, quote unquote, turns face. Because because Kane, I think, would turn face against Seth Rollins. But he done I mean, fucked up and he started shit with Roman Reigns. He, he should have turned face. They should have had him turn face against Seth Rollins. Yeah, I agree. But, due to the Money in the Bank situation, I don't think Kane would turn face anytime soon because of this shit now. So, it, even if he does turn face... Why? Even if he does turn face, I don't think it's going to last long. Oh, maybe this is setting up the King vs. Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship, because who knows? King well, could win actually, the money in the bank. Actually, I heard that they were going to have Triple H and Seth Rollins in a rivalry. Well, they are I kind of like building up for that, so that might actually lead into SummerSlam. So would Seth Rollins be like Brie Bella? Yay! Seth mode! <laughs> Alright, <laughs> anyways, uh, I believe Dean Ambrose will win. I can. I think Seth Rollins may retain. Retain, or just be the new champion? Mm, he's whatever. not the champion at the moment. Oh, whatever, I just think Seth Rollins will win. Mainly because I can, I can see Seth Rollins and someone else food in, but I think Dean Ambrose would say that. I really don't know, because I, there's so many places that they could go with this. Right. So I'm kind of 50-50. I'm on the fence. But I would like to see Dean Ambrose win. Core. I would really love to see Dean Ambrose win. Alright, so I think that wraps it up. Alright. We don't have anything else to talk about? I have a couple of things to talk about. We don't have time. Well, you just asked us if we had things to talk about. I, I, I meant match card wise. Oh. Is there any no, other but matches there is... we need to talk about? No, but I do think we could, uh, no. like, with these matches, no. I do think we could comment on how they could be improved from their current standard. No, no, no. Because if okay, we were going to do that, we should, we should just started at the beginning. Okay. And I don't feel like recording again. <laughs> so for the sec for the third time. Right. Well technically it's the fourth time. Plot twist it's the fifth. Okay, so I think that kind of wraps it up. These are our predictions for WWE Money in the Bank live 20. Sunday the fourth. Wait, did I say 2014? I don't know. I've gone stop smoking pot. Yes. Okay, so these are our predictions for Money in the Bank 2015 live June 14th at God knows what time. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard. Mm -hmm. Is it 8 p.m. Uh, uh, oh. I don't remember. I'm not going to be able to watch it. Speaking of which, we're not going to do a reaction to the video because I'm going to be on the road on Monday. On the road again. I just can't wait to get Shut on up. the road again. Alright, anyways, um, I'm going to so be on since the road. Gonna... Will you shut up? I'm going to be on the so road. So since Steph's going to be on the... I will end the fucking call so I can fucking talk. <laughs> I'm going to be on the road on Monday, and I'm going to be leaving Sunday for New Jersey. And I may or may not be able to watch it. So in case something happens, or something does or does not happen, I'll have I dead let me know what happens. And then if if I have the time we'll probably do a prediction video either Monday or Tuesday. Reaction video. Well reactions. No well reactions review mainly of the pay per view because I won't be able to watch Raw Monday because like I said I'm gonna be on the road. He's gonna be on the highway to hell. Yes. Hey okay. you. California. Uh, wait a hell. Well, if I do the reactions reviews, then it's going to be by myself because I'm going to only, I'm going to record from my phone, not from my laptop. So, okay, yeah, my, so my phone is new, is now my new buddy. 
Because okay, even I think that's well, sad. My new recording buddy, that is. Okay, so I, I think... said that. <laughs> so, my new that, recording buddy, like, whoa, up. death. Shut up. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. This is Corvallis and Kelly with special guest. I did. He was Who does talk. He can't talk, he's mute. Uh, yeah, he's a mute. He's a mute. He doesn't even type. He just fucking shows up and just creeps the fuck out of everybody because he's fucking... He's... He's just the Skype vegetable. Yep. Poor I did. No. Don't worry, I did. I will feed you when I get to fucking wherever the fuck you live. Remind me to feed him celery, by the way. Wait, wait, wait. Is I dead on the loose? I don't fucking know, and I personally don't fucking care. So thank you guys Jesus. for watching once again. We will see you next time, I think. Uh, when's the next pay-per-view? Um, the next pay-per-view may be Battleground, I think, so we when? will, in, I don't know, sometime in July, just pay attention to the channel, subscribe, like the videos, do whatever, we'll see you when we see you. Don't forget to, to uh, follow my Twitter, at One Death Theater, and of course my new Facebook page, which will be in the description. <sighs> I'm nearing 200 subscribers, by the way, I'm super excited about that, I'm going to make like a super freaking 200 subscriber special when that happens, too. So, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting. We will see you guys next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.